the tragedy of Bill Bixby, the diagnosis that would lead to his death. It exploded. I had a category nine cancer that was just coursing through my body. That's coming up. He was the Hulk, but Bill Bixby was powerless to stop the prostate cancer that had taken over his body. Shortly before his death, Bill came to E.T. to talk about his struggle and how he was bravely fighting back with all the energy he had. I don't think of myself as a brave man. It's, but sometimes you face circumstances over which you have no control and over which there are really no choices. Do it. Just do it. It was a determined and forceful Bill Bixby who sat down with E.T. in January of 1993 to talk candidly about the prostate cancer that was spreading throughout his body. He had been diagnosed nearly two years earlier after feeling a pain in his hip while at work directing a TV movie. I thought, oh, my back is out, you know, my lower back, I'll worry about it when I get back. Well, it turned out that was cancer. And uh, as soon as I came back, I happened to have a physical at that day. It was just scheduled. It was fateful. It, it exploded. I had a Category 9 cancer that was just coursing through my body. The cancer, which first began in Bill's prostate, quickly spread to his hips and then to his spine. He underwent surgery and started course after course of chemotherapy. All the while, he continued to work, directing several episodes of the sitcom Blossom. But during much of that time, he was in agonizing pain. You wouldn't feel it coming on or anything. It would just go whap, and I, you couldn't speak suddenly. Unfortunately, it happened a couple of times on the set, and I can't tell you what it's like looking at four actors, trying to direct them in a scene, and then all of a sudden just falling to the floor. Okay, dry run. Experimental drug treatment followed, but with limited results. His weight dropped to barely 130 pounds. Before long, the tabloids moved in, and an indignant Bill came to E.T. to voice his outrage. It's enough to fight cancer without fighting that trashy kind of press. I don't understand how people can be so ungracious and unkind. Even in the face of death, they don't care. There is no respect for life. And I resent that. And I resent the people who do it and make a living off of it. And I think they should examine their own character. Throughout his lengthy career, from his days on My Favorite Martian, through the courtship of Eddie's father, and up to The Incredible Hulk, Bixby had always connected with his audience. His easy charm and warm intelligence, a perfect fit for a whole generation of baby boomers. The uh, cancer that existed in my bladder in the beginning has now completely disappeared. But the liver and the hot spots in the bones are still around. I'll take it one at a time. I'll take anything I can get as a matter of fact. When E.T. visited again with Bill just nine months after our first sit-down, it was clearly apparent that his cancer had progressed. Faced with his own mortality, Bill made a conscious decision on how he was going to live. It's a matter of perception. I know that some people who have been told they have cancer quit. When the C word hits their mind, they simply stop. They cease to live and give themselves to dying. That's not my intention. You come and get me, and you drag me away, but I'm not going to contribute to my own death. Bill also spoke of the strength he got from others he met in the cancer ward. I was overwhelmed by this, this beautiful, beautiful person. She had been going through chemo, I guess, for two years, so she had very little hair. And in this surgery, which was, I guess, about her fifth surgery, she had lost her right leg at the hip. Um, I'm sorry. The point, uh, uh, when I came into the room and I saw her face, uh, I'll be okay. I saw her face. This is a woman who just had lost her leg within two hours. And when she saw me, her response of joy was so overwhelming to me. I didn't know what to do. I just put the flowers down and embraced her. And we held each other and just rocked together. 
As for his own legacy, Bill Bixby remained gracious to the very end. I would hope that I have left behind something that would leave goodwill. And then my life will have been worth something. Uh, but it's tough. I find myself looking at the obituaries quite often now to see if I'm there. <laughs> and, uh, um, and now I have a tendency to say, God bless you. Every time I read about anyone who has passed away. Just two months after this interview, Bill was gone. His final words to our camera, a prayer for others. Be good to yourselves. Because if you're good to yourself, you're going to be kind to everybody else. I'd sure like to see that before I die. In the month before his death, Bill married his girlfriend Judith. His ashes remain at her Hawaiian estate.